go to Comsec. Tom Petrovsky joining us live for a look at the markets today. Um, could be in for a nice one this morning, Tom. Good morning to you. Good morning, Pete. Yeah, the futures are telling us that the ASX 200 could kick off with a gain of 1.3%, which would uh, certainly be uh, encouraging in terms of uh, uh, how we start uh, an important week. There's a lot to get through this week in terms of uh, central bank decisions, uh, key economic news. So uh, today, if we are able to uh, approximate that w uh, improvement, uh, we'll be in the running to have one of the best monthly improvements over the course of the year. Uh, month to date, the um, uh, ASX 200 is up by 4.8%. So that is uh, uh, something to look forward to at least. Uh, tomorrow, of course, we've got the RBA decision on rates and the conversation turns around whether or not it's going to be a quarter or a half of 1%. Uh, and then later on in the week, we've got another important hurdle to get over, which is the US Federal Reserve's decision on interest rates. So they're widely expected to raise rates by around three quarters of a percent. So today we'll get some important manufacturing numbers out of China that will speak to the level of activity as the uh, country continues to go down the path of managing the COVID pandemic uh, with more uh, lockdowns in different jurisdictions. So uh, today will be quite important for the resource sector in that regard, which has already experienced headwinds because of the concerns around Chinese activity. But uh, at the end of last week, we saw a strengthening of the US dollar, which put downward pressure on commodity prices. So uh, aluminium, copper, zinc and tin were all down in the order of around 3 to 4% in US trade. And the Aussie dollar has lost a bit of ground at the weekend as well, Pete. It's back to around 74 US cents. Okay, Tom Petrovsky, thank you.